Hey guys, this is Timogen with another King of Avalon video, and today we are celebrating Stronghold 32. Actually, about two weeks ago, we were celebrating Stronghold 22. I just hadn't got around to making this video, but special thanks to I Kill Alliance for uh, helping me with getting those last badges. I didn't spend any money on badges, and so um, all my badges have come from killing monsters and opening chests and you know special events and all that uh, so it takes a lot of hard work to do this if you're not spending uh, you know we see some people they spend a lot and they they just do everything well uh, I'm kind of a guy where we do everything uh, by hard work and uh, I keep four accounts on here I've got uh, one on my phone and one on my iPad uh, or I'm sorry two on my phone and two on my iPad and um, because you got Facebook and then the Apple Store game or uh, Apple Store bit there where you can sign into, and so um, that just helps a lot. The, your farms are, you know, it's it's almost necessary if you're not spending. It's necessary for you to have some farms in order to generate food, in order to help your growth. Whether you're doing research or you're upgrading buildings, you got to have some help because it just it's too much to do it with one stronghold. You're just not going to gather fast enough to keep up with anybody. And uh, I'm only a middle strength player, and so uh, just for me to keep up in the middle of the pack, i uh, got to have some farms. A couple things that I do, uh, I always try to help with load. Whenever I'm gathering from my farms, uh, I move my load gear on. That's things that you use for uh, gathering, and uh, they've also got little load bits on them. Also, hitting all the construction stuff up here in your economy, Lord Talents. Everything that you can do, construction, that'll boost this. It's a 35 or 40 day, uh, well, 30 to 40 day um, construction, so you definitely want to hit all that. Uh, you know, you want to get every piece of that that you can. Uh, also pay attention to the speed of your marches, especially if you're not r directly beside your farm. Um, I couldn't really get directly beside mine unless I went out. But uh, those melee siege, if you pay attention to those, those are the slowest. You've got the distance siege, which are second slowest. And then, of course, your uh, bowmen and infantry move at a one speed, and then your horses move at a different speed. I don't really separate my horses out from my foot soldiers, so I just send them on. Um, but you can see here, I just send those guys straight on, and it's about a 46 second march. Uh, most of my loot at this point with my farms, I'm gathering loot in the uh, Undead Trader, which is the Labyrinth, and also in the Spire. Um, you got to get those guys to floors 50 and 55 so that they can uh, gather more wood and iron and. Um, silver. Uh, also casting the spell here. I am an R4 in this group. Lord willing, thank you. You know, been here for fixing, going on two years now. Um, so we're going to cast that spell for a 20% 20, 20 boost in speed for six hours. Uh, we're going to come down here on resources in the Undead Trader. Here you're gathering the silver and the iron. This is a huge boost. Every day, when it, you know, every day, right after the reset, I go in and I, I take care of all the little things that make um, all the little things you got to do to get to take care of the little bonuses and stuff you get. Uh, so I come in here and I grab those over here in the spire with my farms in the spire. I grab silver and iron, wood and food. With my main account, I'm grabbing all the stuff that's going to boost my stats, uh, just because I've got farms to give me resources. Um, and that's really the only way you're going to keep up as a non-spender and uh, you know be able to stay in the middle of the pack. Now you've also got this little guy here give you another 18%. So I'm just grabbing everywhere I can for as much load as I can so I can move these resources. Still took me two hours. I've got Sir Denadan here. Uh, he's getting you 33% on load. Um, so I mean every little thing you can to get things moved over I actually overkilled it a bit because I had to wait on those badges it took me weeks and weeks to save up and so I had those badges and so things just built up a lot but I did end up just cleaning out everything out of the inventory one other thing you'll want to do once you get over your storehouse level on food your troops gonna start eating food I make a point that I don't let my food get above my storehouse level um, but what you can do is you go over here into the gathering speed and you can you've got all these different things that you can uh, reduce your gathering speed 25 or 50 percent you get a free 25 percent with um, the gold event so I typically just use that because gold is pretty precious to me I don't spend a whole lot 
So I need all the gold I can get. So my gold, I don't spend it frivolously. I spend my gold very, uh, very conservatively because uh, I'm just not putting a lot of money into a game. I did end up spending two or three hundred dollars in order to get DS gear, but that was just because you you, you got to have DS gear now in a game where everybody can get DS. So I just kind of sped that along. Uh, this guy, Tiny Tim, uh, a lot of people ask me why in my food bank I have troops. Number one, I gather with, with those troops. I feel like that helps it go faster. The other thing is, is I kill dragons and do barbarian camps and that boosts, uh, that keeps more, it builds more food up in my inventory. And unfortunately I missed the money shot. As you can see, I boosted all that and it's docked it down to 15 days. They knocked that talent thing out right there. And Stronghold 32 started. So anyway, thanks guys. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this.